Hello and welcome. My name is Birdie Bot, and take a look at what I see. <laughs> this feels familiar starting an episode with a bear in our view, but I was just out checking my trap lines when I saw a bear. Let's see what we can do. Now I'm going to approach this big old bear. Where you go, bear? Oh, right there. Let's do this. All right. Now bears are tough, but not as tough as me. So let's do this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the... Oh, I don't even have the dog on the leash, so let's just chat to our pup and tell him to attack the bear. Oh, the bear's sleeping. Well, he's about to have a rude awakening. Oh, shoot. Missed him. So the bear's actually off and running, it looks like. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's grab our arrow here. Come around this side. Looks like he's fallen. I'm going to try to hit him from here. Ooh. Let's try this again. Ah, I miss. Ooh, Pookie's hit. Okay, scratched him in the shoulder. He's fleeing now. So let's follow him. Looks like he's actually fleeing towards us, which isn't a great sign. He's going quite slowly too. So we will come around this way. Where did they go? Okay, I'm gonna grab this arrow and then I'm gonna come towards Pookie, who I believe is a little bit to the north. Oh, northwest. Northeast, sorry. <laughs> Eey. Okay, I'm trapped in this little spot. Oh boy. <gasps> Pookie's dead. Oh, and I hear somebody very angry. I'm going to back up one. All right, let's try to get this animal. Okay, I hit him once. I've only got eight arrows, so I've got to make these count. Oh. Scratches his skull. Gotta be better than that. Another miss. Oh, this is not good. <sighs> Come on. Starts to bleed from his abdomen. Two arrows left. He can still easily kill me. Bear falls prone, seems to have fallen unconscious. I'm gonna rush forward and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to kill him. Oh, this is so sad. Okay. Wielding my broad knife, I'm gonna try to use the point against his skull. Oh, so tragic. Pookie, my bud. Done. Done. Holy moly. <gasps> what a battle. Oh, and Pookie's gone. <laughs> There's a mallard in the east. Weird. I, wow. What a battle. That was so hard. I wonder if I can skin my dog. <laughs> that might be an interesting idea. Yeah, I can. Maybe we'll make an honorary skin of Pookie. There we go. Wow. Let's grab Pookie. Might as well bring what we got from him. It's so sad. And we'll butcher. We'll butcher our big bear. <gasps> wow. Pookie, I'm so sorry. Poor Pookie. Alas, it was it was your time, Pookie. I guess it's time for us to get a new dog. Oh, so sad. At least we know that Cloud Trail has dogs. 
And uh, let's see what, what's the other place that has dogs. I think actually Death Forest has dogs as well. So we'll be replacing that. Oh, Pookie dog skin. It looks like I really mushed up that bear skin too. That's really too bad. And now we've got tons and tons of meat. So now I'll show you my method for uh, bringing home tons of meat like this. I actually drop quite a bit. <laughs> I know my king character can carry a total of uh, 150 pounds. So I drop until I get to that point. So let's drop maybe oh, a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I'm so tired and fatigued that I can't even move. It's crazy. Oh, Pookie. I'm going to miss him. So, I'll pick up some arrows. I'm pretty sure I missed about a dozen times there. That felt insane. I wonder if we hadn't missed so many times, maybe Pookie would still be alive today. There might be another arrow down here. Oh, poor guy. He gave his life for us. So, we've got our trap set up there. And I'm going to head through our trap fence in order to head to the village. I think that's where I'm going to cook this meat. Because actually, to be honest, a lot of what I want to do with the meat is, well, now I want to replace our dog. Do you think Ironmire has dogs? I, I have my notebook somewhere where it says which village has dogs. And I think, let's see. See, are these the guys? Well, what I'll do is I'll start cooking. Usually the food can last long enough that I can do a round of cooking and then go back. Oh, Pookie, dog cuts. Oh, I'll cook them up. I'm sure he wouldn't be too mad. There we go. And six more of those. <laughs> is that grotesque? I mean, this game allows you to uh, cook human cuts of meat, so I guess it's not that bad. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up what's already finished cooking, which is the first round of dog meat. And we'll keep cooking the bear meat. Unfortunately, I don't have any salt or uh, um, cord. Oh, and I found my cord. Jeez, you know where it was? I had forgotten that in the first episode, after I killed the bear, I, I uh, smoked his meat in one of the villages. I just forgot what village it was. So I picked up awful smoked bear cuts. Apparently they were like totally ruined for some reason. So that was really too bad. Let's pick up some more. And then we'll drop this off at our house and go back for the rest of the bear meat. And then we'll make some leather. I'm actually making some more uh, already, so you'll see it sitting at my shelter. Am I all done cooking up? Okay, so now I just wait out the rest of the cooking. Shouldn't be too long. What would really be nice is if I could actually uh, sell or trade in these bear cuts, because roasted bear cuts, well, anything roasted doesn't last very long, so it's not an ideal trade good. You can trade it into something like a tool, which has equal value but it never spoils so there's nothing to pick up so let's head back to our shelter and then we'll head straight back to where we lost Pookie oh so sad poor Pookie oh, I'm sorry bud oh, I guess it was too scary I shouldn't have done it but it's those darn bears you know you don't want them hanging around your place you gotta get rid of them <laughs> or at least that's what I told myself before I started the episode. I have to kill the bear. Tragic Pookie. Now we're going to drop this off in here. All of our food as well as our bear skin and dog skin. Uh, and I'm going to put in the, the dog fat, bear fat. Since it's harsh, I'll make leather out of it. I need so much cord and rope. Okay, so before we go, as you can see, there's a, a lynx skin here and an elk skin. I was doing some off-screen hunting and just sort of ran into these two. Uh, it wasn't really even my intention to do any fighting, but uh, that's what happened. <laughs> Usually I try to capture any hunting that I'm doing, but uh, 
It just all happened so quickly. Oh, I encounter a forest trader. I hope he's not mad at me. Since I'm not carrying anything of value, I don't actually really want to talk to them. The forest traders, or the, sorry, the foreign traders. Forest traders. I'll show you what they carry. So if I chat to this fella, hey bud, who are you? Halbert. Hey, Halbert. Take a look at what they trade. These things are insane. Oh, well, that's not insane. Two hand axes, not so insane. But these guys actually have some of the best items in the game, but you have to find them because they travel. Uh, you can get like male harbor, sorry, I'm not sure how to say that word, but basically like male shirts. Uh, and I don't mean like gendered male. I mean like, uh, <laughs> like chain mail. <laughs> All right, let's go back to where our trap is here. And I guess I, I walked down south, so there we are. Oh, there's a pine mart in there. What the heck? Let's see if we can shoot him. Oh. I guess he's attracted by uh, the smell of death. Can I hide and sneak a little bit closer? There he is. I don't know if they'll let me get any closer. He sees me, I'm sure of it. Oh, he's a weasel. I thought he was a pine marten. Yeah, missed him. Listen, you sneaky little weasel, get out of here. Try to eat the remains of Pookie and probably that bear. All right, let's see if we can carry the rest of this and I'm gonna break my trap so that it uh, can be picked up again. And we'll bring this back. Oh, I guess the weasel is, get out of here, get out of here weasel. There we go, scared him away. All right, so let's head back up to the shelter. And quickly cook up the rest of this. I'll start a fire here, seems easier. Oh, it's so sad not having Pookie here. But here's the thing about the dog dying. <laughs> this is gonna sound kind of cruel, but the amazing thing is if Pookie wasn't there and didn't sacrifice his life for that, I would have died without question. It, uh, it's hard doing that. That's funny. Does it look like one of my leathers turned into meat or is that just spoiled meat on the ground? <laughs> All right, so let's roast the rest of these uh, bear cuts. And then we'll attend to the delicious, delicious skins. And I'll show you how to get leather rather than furs, if you don't already know. I, it's something that I actually had to look up once in a, a back when I was first starting to play. It was kind of a confusing process because you can only do it at a certain time, which is at, right at the beginning. Otherwise, you kind of get screwed. But you do have to clean the skin first. Oh, my character's starting to get tired. So if you guys have a recommendation for what I should name my next dog. Although, honestly, I've been playing these, I've been filming all these episodes one after the other because I, I cannot stop playing. <laughs> I love this game. It's so cool. It reminds me of... Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name correctly, but uh, Alone in the Wilderness by uh, Dick Pranecki or Richard Pranecki. He's such a badass. My goodness. I love that guy. <laughs> if you've not seen it, you can search it probably on YouTube and find some. But it's of this fella who just decides, yeah, he's going to live in the wilderness. He's tired of people. He's going to go there. Uh, and he built his own cabin. It's just shockingly similar to this. I feel like Sammy would totally dig it, the creator of the game. He'd love Dick Pernicki. All right, so I'm gonna drop all these yucky roast bear cuts and we'll find a use for them. Since my character is tired, I think I'll just go straight to sleep and start doing the hide work in the morning. I have so much hide work to do. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Okay, let's drop, oh no, pick up our bear skin and our dog skin. And I don't think we need the fat quite yet. So these are being dehaired. 
but I do need to clean them first. So we'll go into the hide work menu and clean our skins. The bear skin is going to take a lot longer than the dog skin because it's just so much more mass, I guess. Ah, oh, I guess with Pookie, like, ah, oh, I wonder if there's something better I could have done. I kind of lost him in the woods there. You can just imagine what that would have been like to like see your dog fighting the bear in the, in the distance. But it goes to show, don't go hunting without a dog. They will save your butt. Okay, and let's just quickly do the same with the dog skin. There we go. Shouldn't take very much time. Maybe we'll do something cool like make a rug out of Pookie's body. Because if you actually keep, uh, I think it works just like in Cataclysm, if you remember in Cataclysm, uh, Dark Days Ahead, you can, uh, use the like any sort of blanket and just leave it in the shelter and they'll use it as a blanket like you don't have to like pick it up or put it on I, th I think that's how it works boy there's more mallards just suddenly recently I think this mallard is like following me around right now what a joke what a joke all right there we go one more ready to be dehaired and let's see I think I want to tan the dog skin. Oh, I forgot my fats. So I will grab the dog fat. will probably be enough. There we go. Yeah, let's let's tan the dog. Dog fur. There you go, Pookie. We're gonna keep you around, Pookie. Keep you around. <laughs> That willow grass stalking me. We're gonna eat. Cool. Yes, drink. Cool. Now while all that stuff's going on, I'll show you what I do with the bear cuts. Since they're not they're not gonna stay for very long, I bring as much food as I can to the village and I try to trade it for those uh, goods that won't go bad. Let's see if I can get is that gonna be okay? Maybe I'll grab Let's see, I can hold 150, so let's see. Oh, I'm getting close. Maybe 10 more. Oh, okay. Maybe like 15 more. Yes, okay. So let's head to the village. It'd be nice to get another dog. In all honesty, it's sad not having someone following you. <laughs> So once we're in the village, it's late afternoon, so luckily the villagers won't crank at me. We'll see if there's a trade good, which will work well. The other option is actually getting someone to help us. There's a carving ax here, which I actually don't have. I would love that bag of salt so much. Sickle, carving ax. Another masterwork woodsman's axe. Fine woodsman's axe. I wonder if I can get that fishing rod. That's a pretty good trade good. It's not very heavy. I also don't really have a broad axe. Yeah, why don't we try that? I'm going to grab the fishing rod. And we're going to chat to the sage here. I wonder who it is. Oh, it's Olari. Hey, man. Oh, people are talking about a wolf. That's interesting. So we're going to try to trade. Um, let's see if he can take any of our dog meat. This will do just fine. Whoa, let me think again. <laughs> he, he, offered, he accepted that really quickly. Whoa. Okay. Apparently dog meat is worth a lot. Really? Our fishing rods, I think I might drop this fishing rod. It's really not worth much. <laughs> I want something that's like a little more difficult than that to get. So maybe we'll pick up another woodsman's ax. All right, now let's trade, buddy. Great. That's what I've got to pay for, so. 
marginal. Okay, good. Doubled. Okay, so we're getting closer. Halfway there. Ooh. This actually may be too expensive. <laughs> How's that? The roasted dog cut is unworthy, but it's getting promising. Okay. Um, well, I can give him a couple arrows, pleasantly close, just so I'll go do one at a time and then, perfect, cool. So there you go. <laughs> That's one way of preserving food is by getting tools instead of food. So I'm going to return back to the cabin and get the second load of meat and see if I can't get another tool out of it. Tools are just awesome. And that's the second like a uh, masterwork woodsman's axe that I've gotten. So if I wanted help to say cut down some trees later when I'm making my cabin, that'll be a way that I, I can give it to someone and they'll work nice and fast. So yeah, I already have a hand axe here. So we're gonna drop that there. Let's just check and see how everything's going here. Oh, everything's still preparing. So we'll grab the rest of the roasted bear cuts. So there's not much. Hmm. What I'd really love to get, in fact, is another bag of salt. So let's take both of these with us and maybe any of this junk. I don't think they're gonna accept any of this, but you never know. And I'll top up my, I'll take that masterwork staff top up my arrows and grab maybe nine of those. Great. I know they have another bag of salt there, so I'm going to go check it out. Oh, a fox. <gasps> cool. I'm carrying a lot. Let's see if we can get him. Foxes are worth a lot. So if we can catch a fox, oh, I'd be so pleased. Unfortunately, we don't have Pookie to help chase him down. So I'm going to try and hit him. Because I don't think he's going to give me much of a chance. Nope. In fact, the fox didn't even really react. If I hide, can I hide? Yeah, I can. Can I get any closer? Nope. Fox seems alert. Nah, he's not going to let me get much closer. <laughs> Sneaky little devil. I'll just zoom back out. That wasn't my intention anyways. I, I don't really want to catch a fox yet. I'm not ready. I'm not mentally ready for it. All right. What? The fox is in the village. This is awesome. Okay, I want to run after this fox. See what happens. Ah. Did the people see him? Nobody's even freaked out that there was a fox in the village. That's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna stop running. <laughs> I'm just getting fatigued carrying all this stuff. Okay, did you guys have salt in here? I forget. Oh, I do need a boat. That's something I'm actually shopping for. Ooh, a masterwork splitting axe. I kind of want that too for when I start building a cabin. Hmm. Oh, do I trade it? Do I trade it? No, I want salt. <laughs> Do not be distracted. Uh, there's, yeah, here we are. Okay, a bag of salt. Now let's chat to this fellow. Hey, buddy. What's your name? Nico. Okay. Let's trade. Um, we're a trustworthy trader. Nice. What would you prefer? <laughs> he wants my bow and my coat. Wow, not happening. What do you think of that? How about this? Uh, Masterwork staff? Oh, he doesn't want it. Darn it. Uh, how about any of these? Unworthy, okay. Unworthy, okay. Kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, bud. Okay, so we'll throw in, oh yeah, he won't want that. Let's throw in nine bear cuts getting promising. Another nine? Oh, pleasantly close. 
Come on. There we go. Okay. So that means we have another bag of salt. That's so great. I, I needed that. What do we have left? We still have this stupid masterwork staff, which apparently is worthless. But we now have another bag of salt. That is so great. Yahoo! Let's uh, mosey on out of here. We're a trusted trading partner. I love that. What's this? Ooh, milkweed. Cool. I would love to find some yarrow. I think I need to find like a meadow in order to get yarrow. So let's return this beautiful bag of salt. Oh yeah, and I'll give you a tour just before we end the episode of uh, my beautiful trapping fence. <laughs> it's really small. I've seen uh, other people who've posted pictures online in the forums to show like their incredible trapping fences and it's pretty much a lot cooler than mine. <laughs> Some people do entire uh, areas. It's incredible. All right, so I think I'm gonna put these worthless things in a pile. Those steak for mittens, they cannot be that useless. There we go. And I've got 12 arrows. That should cover me. I'm just gonna grab a couple extra. Kinda makes me nervous. There we go. All right, to our trapping fence, I'll show you. So is anybody here? Oh, I hear a black grouse, but I don't see anybody. That's too bad. But yeah, I've baited each little deadfall. I don't know if that was the right idea because now it looks like no one ever comes to this area. But I've been seeing lots of animals spawn like up and around. So it's possible that they're just, you know, like that fox was kind of close to my trapping vent right? Maybe that's how it works is that they spawn within like a couple tiles. Hmm. Well, I'll return Foxglove to her home and perhaps we'll have to start shopping for a new pup. It's so sad. Anyways, guys, have an awesome day.